Hey Taurus, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's up? Hope everyone is doing well. I am doing well on this side of the microphone. We are going to throw down a serious tarot card reading for Taurus right here. Y'all come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get you a blanket, a pillow, get some snacks, something to drink, something to smoke, put the earbuds in, throw it up on a big screen if you want to, and let's break it down for Taurus. We're doing a different format today. I am going to fast forward through everything and jump straight to the message. So I do hope you all enjoy it. Namaste. I am a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus, but Taurus sun. So let's see what the cards have to say for Taurus. This deck is supposed to be read all in the upright, and I know that if you know me, um, I uh, read reversals like crazy because if you're only using half the deck, if you only read the uprights, but these are our root cards, and they are supposed to be read in the upright. So, all right, spirit, what is it that you got to say? What is it that you got to say for Taurus spirit? What's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Spirit, what is it that Taurus needs to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future? Please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Ready? So the sun, first card out, sets the tone for the whole reading. Spirit is about to escort you into a great, great, great deal of happiness and success in your life. To the devil in reverse. Why? Well, because you have released some kind of toxics, to because you have released some kind of toxic attachment in your life. You've come to terms with it once and for all, and you have set it down. That's why. Spirit is about to return to you everything that you lost in the flesh in exchange for your participation in your spiritual purpose. They are about to restore to you tenfold what it was you thought was going to be in your best interest, in your own human understanding, in, own, in your own flesh desire. But because you have done some serious internal work, Spirit is about to reward you tenfold. Rejoice in celebration. This is coming together and having um, a good time. Um, I think this is meeting someone. Who are you meeting? Well, the King of Pentacles. That's who you're meeting. The King of Pentacles to your Queen of Pentacles. You are meeting your match. Okay? Three of Pentacles, reward and recognition. Not only are you meeting your match, but this person is your reward. <laughs> and I don't mean to say that the universe uses people as tools because that's absolutely not true. However, the reward is the desire of your heart. And if this reading is resonating with you, it tells me that the desire of your heart is to have a serious, committed, long-term, stable, steady, monogamous, domestic partnership with someone. And that's what's coming your way, Taurus. That is what is coming your way. The world, your whole everything is about to change. Everything your whole everything is about to change because you have put in the work to get to where you are now. You have learned everything that you need to learn in your past cycle in regards to all of the lessons of the major arcana. Have you learned everything that you need to learn, period? No, <laughs> far from it, Taurus. Far from it. But in this particular cycle of your life, you have learned what it is that you need to learn. And now it is time to start over again. But you don't start over. You elevate, right? You get to build in this new cycle 
all of the lessons that you learned from your past cycle. And because you learned those lessons, now you are capable of engaging in a healthy, beautiful relationship. To the two of pentacles, everything's balancing out. Everything's good. Everything's rolling. Everything's balancing out. Two, right? Partnerships, alliances. Look at that. Partnerships and alliances with the three of wands. The purple is wands. So with the three of wands, partnerships and alliances, right? Your ships are coming in to the Prince of Cups. It's a mature emotional exchange of emotions to the fool. And it's a brand new beginning and a brand new journey in your life. It's a leveling up of your life. It's a leveling up of your spirituality because you came to terms with old Diablo over here. Came to terms with it. Decided you were not going to let your past interfere with your future or dictate your present. You came to terms with that. You drew the line in the sand. And because of that, they're on you like white on rice. They're like, all right, let's do this. Let's do it. We got her. We got him. Let's do it. Let's do it. Power. This is the strength card. Because you had the strength to overcome obstacles in your life and deal with deep, deep, deep-rooted emotional woundings. The Ten of Cups. Tenfold. You are being rewarded tenfold for the work that you have done on yourself, Taurus. This reading isn't for everybody. If you ain't done no work on yourself, if you're still walking around living in the flesh and choosing who it is that you're going to go out with because you think they're hot or they make a certain amount of money or they fit a certain type that you're living, this reading is not for you. This reading is for someone who has done some serious dark night of the soul work on themselves. And because of that, because they have redirected their focus back towards their spiritual understanding, spirit is divinely orchestrating the steps of their path. Prosperity begins. The Ace of Pentacles, brand new well-being to the Two of Cups in some kind of unified relationship. Rest and rejuvenate the Four of Swords. This is because you have rested. You have rested your restless mind that used to be in the devil used to be caught up in attachments that were restricting your growth, your dark side, your shadow self, your self-doubt, your insecurities, everything that everybody ever did to you in your life, carrying it around like a burden and a struggle. Come to terms with it. You have rested your mind. And now it's time to rejuvenate. It's a new way of thinking. It's a new stable mindset to the sun. And it is going to lead you towards immense amount of happiness. I mean, an immense amount of happiness. I cannot stress this enough, Taurus. Crazy, crazy good future in a worthy love relationship. To the Princess of Wands, brand new pep in your step. Excitement, exploration, discovery. Because it's right underneath the Three of Cups, right? Where you're meeting someone. You're meeting someone. And it is going to be exciting. And it's going to be fresh and new. And it's going to be unlike any relationship that you have engaged in thus far. Why? Patience. The hanged man. Because you took a step back and you gleaned a new perspective. And that new perspective cut you down off the tree. You did this, Taurus. You created this in your life. As we do everything, anything that's going on in our life, you did it. You created it. Temperance. Being tempered. Balance. Pulling it all in and balancing it all out. Taking all of those fragmented emotions and bringing them here. And moving forward. Wow. Wow. Judgment, what I just say, making a conscious cognitive decision to draw a line in the sand. I will not be this way 
anymore. Period. You make a decision at some point in your recent past that it's not going to be this way anymore. And I am changing my mode of operandum, the Empress. I'm standing in my power and I am going to be responsible for what it is I manifest into my life. I'm going to be responsible for who it is I manifest into my life. I am going to guard my thoughts. I'm going to manifest on a high vibration and I am going to create in my life what it is that I want. It's the Empress. That's manifestation. Lesson number one, the magician. You create your life. Whether you realize it or not, whether you like it or not, you create your life in your mind and it becomes your reality. Lesson number two is the high priestess. Your intuition, your guts will never, ever steer you wrong because that is your higher consciousness, your higher power leading you in the direction of your best and highest good. The Empress combines those two things together and she manifests what it is that she wants in her life while she compares and contrasts it to what her intuition says about it. And if her intuition doesn't agree, she adjusts the way that she's manifesting until they lock. And then it's all on from there. You're you locked, Taurus. In this Empress card, you're locked. It's beautiful. Material and spiritual prosperity. Oh, my nose material and spiritual prosperity with the six of pentacles. It's the giving and the receiving and the sharing of life's prosperity to the six of love, six of Trump harmony. It's the lover's card in a aligned, divinely orchestrated relationship in your life. Passion ignited, right? It's the Ace of Wands. The, the Passion Ignited card goes with the whole thing. It goes with the Two of Wands. It goes with the Ace of Pentacles right on top of it. It's, I'm telling you, Taurus, this is like unlike anything that you have ever had in your life before. Okay. Conflict and defeat. Okay, period, drop down, new paragraph. What did you have to change about yourself? Well, the five of swords, conflict and defeat, holding on to some kind of mindset with a white knuckle grip. Win at all costs. I am not going to ever forgive and forget or let this go. Um, it's something that broods deep inside of you, okay? What's it about? Well, the six of cups, memories of love, right? So there was some kind of wounding in your past that needed your attention. You gave it your attention and now you are set free, my friend, set free. The seven of cups, right? Confusion, options, choices, decisions, apathy, right? Just apathy to make any kind of decision. Two of swords in reverse. Um, you were blinded at a crossroad for a long time wallering in this memories of love card but that's over because you've done the work to release the toxicity to get rid of an attachment that has been restricting your growth which is you holding on to some kind of memories of a past relationship or a collective of relationships where it all ended the same way but you know what it ended the same way because you were the same person but you're not the same person anymore. So this one is going to be completely different. Commitment with the Hierophant. Commitment to the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, Justice, the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, the Two of Wands. You just can't get any better than that, Taurus. It is the kind of commitment that you want it's King and Queen of Cups, and we do have the Six of Cups, even though it was isn't pertinent to this. We have the Lovers. This is, and I do not use this term lightly. I do not, I do not, I do not. And if you are one of my personal clients, you know that I poo-poo soulmate relationships because usually they're not romantic. Usually they're purposeful in your life, yes, but they're not romantic. Understand? This is soulmate. This is someone that you have held space with at some point in all of your journeys. You have, you know this person. Your souls will lock. Justice. 
It's your justice, Taurus. It's in your best interest. It's because of your accountability. It's justice to your life because of your accountability to your responsibility to explore your awakening and embrace your spirituality. The Wheel of Fortune. Now spirit can divinely orchestrate the steps of your life. Now they can take you to exactly who and where it is you need to be because you're listening now. When that intuition kicks in, you're like, oh, I think that's my intuition. Yeah, I think, I think, I think I need to do what Dana says and put my, put my flesh down and do what my intuition is asking me to do. And that will lead you to this person. The Wheel of Fortune is a massive turning point in your life. To the Two of Wands, your future will never be the same. Your future is going to be so different. Why Three of Swords? Because Eight of, eight, of, eight of Wands, Three of Swords, Eight of Wands, because you came to terms with the grief and the sorrow and the pain of the past, and you made a decision that your past was not going to be your future. Eight of Cups, and you once and for all have emotionally walked away from this situation. Ten of Wands, you've put down the burden and the struggle that you have carried forever. You're moving on in the mind. Remember, the mind manifests your reality. Six of Swords, moving on. You're moving on in your mind. That opens the door for all kinds of manifestation. Deception and envy with the Seven of Swords, moving on from a futile mindset, moving on from whatever kind of fuckery happened in your past, moving on gives you room to create new love in your life. Love begins the Ace of Cups. Why? Triumphant success in your mind with the Ace of Swords. Your mind creates your reality. You got that back here. When you stepped into your role as the Empress, you wrapped your mind around that and you began to manifest the reality that you want and not the reality that um, was repetitive in your life. Amen. Namaste, Taurus. That was awesome. Look at these from the bottom of the deck. I can't make this up. So I just accidentally grabbed a hold of the card underneath it. Look what it is. It's the Two of Cups. Wow. All right. So bottom of the deck, 21, cycle closure. You have learned what you need to learn. Brand new cycle, brand new opportunity, brand new blank slate. Positive movement forward. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Because you have worked on it, you have engaged, you have mastered what it is that you need to know. Brings you to a spiritual, what I say, what I say, soulmate, brings you to a spiritual union. Brand new beginning, brand new journey, leveling up of your spirituality and engaging in a mindset and a lifestyle that is going to change everything for you. The Wheel of Fortune, your destiny, turning point, your destiny. Why? Because you manifested that shit, Taurus. You did. This is the magician. Awareness. You became awakened and aware. And you fixed your woundings. And you realized that the past does not matter for your future. You pulled yourself together. You brushed yourself off. You straightened your back. And you stepped into your power as the Empress. And you have manifested this relationship into your life. You did this. I'm proud of you. Congratulations, Taurus. This is an absolutely beautiful reading. It's an absolutely beautiful reading. Yay, Taurus. I hope that helps somebody. If you want your cards read, you can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com. Namaste.